Welcome to HEK's Vinyl Life. I'm your host, Anthony K. And today is Saturday, April 22nd, which could mean only one thing. That's right, it's Record Store Day. And I'm on my way out. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning, and I'm on my way out now. Just heading down to my number one stop, Rick's Recollections in Port Credit, Ontario. Those of you who've watched my channel for a few years will know I make this video every year. <laughs> you, you guys see my vlog every year, and this year is no exception. Uh, heading to Rick's first. Uh, this year I have six things on my list for Record Store Day. Two of them I know are not being released in Canada, uh, so I'll have to order them online. If I do get anything else, it'll be spur of the moment, but uh, only four things this year on Record Store Day I'm going after. And I know that uh, those four things are all at, uh, at least I know they're at Rick, so hopefully I can score all four things. Uh, I'll see you guys from the store. I'll be arriving there in just a couple of minutes. So here we are, we're inside Rick's Recollections here in Port Credit, Ontario. My usual first stop on Record Store Day, people don't know me and have seen watch my channel have seen me in this store many a times and as you can see there's a a decent crowd of people here uh, digging for record store day i've done my digging uh, i've got everything that i uh, wanted uh, to get this morning and uh, a couple more things uh, so i'm happy i'm just waiting to check out i'll show you guys when i got home uh, what i got but i'm also going to hit uh, pcv records next so uh, maybe i'll do a quick quick dig for you guys in one or two bins uh, while I'm waiting to check out. at Rick's Recollections. Uh, like I said when I was in the store, I managed to find uh, the four titles that I were my number one wants all at Rick's, so I'm thrilled to get those. I'm on my way now to PCV Records in Oakville, Ontario, my second stop. I don't know if I'll bother going to High Notes today because I was successful at Rick's and PCV will probably have anything else that I might be interested in. I did pick up a couple extra things at Rick's that were that were maybes on my list so i picked up six things at rick's recollections i'm gonna hit pcv just to take you guys there just to you know the spirit of record store day and browse the store and maybe i'll see something interesting there uh, and uh, i'll see you guys at pcv records in oakville on this rainy 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 record store day 2023 so here we are at pcv records in oakville as you can see it's a super rainy day and uh weather hasn't changed since i talked to you the last a few minutes ago so we'll see you inside pcv records and here we are we're inside pcv records and we're going to check out their record store day titles i'll give you guys just a little peruse of their wall And now it's time to do a little digging. And so I'm finished uh, from PCV Records. I picked up four titles at PCV, so I think my total haul is 10 this year. Uh, that's it for Record Store Day 2023 for me. And uh, as soon as I get home, I'll show you guys what I got. See you when I get home. So 
So we're back from Record Star Day 2023, back home again, uh, as I said in my little mini vlog there, and I hope you all enjoyed that little mini vlog. I didn't uh, film as much as I've done in past Record Star Days, uh, just because it was pouring with rain out, so I didn't uh, do any outside filming when, you know, talking to people in the lineup and so on, because uh, it was just a wet, miserable morning. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed my little mini vlog visiting both Rick's Recollections in Port Credit, Ontario, and um, PCV Records in uh, Oakville, Ontario. There were two things on my list that I knew I was probably never going to get here. Uh, the first was Sin Lizzy live in Hammersmith, which is taken from that Sin Lizzy box set that's right up there. That's the Sin Lizzy 8-disc box set that came out uh, in January of the Live and Dangerous remaster, which featured the Live and Dangerous uh, LP and seven concert full concerts the seven full concerts that made up that live, live and dangerous lp and one of the concerts one of the hammersmith shows is the one that's on the vinyl uh version so i was hoping to get that but i knew i probably wouldn't so i'll have to order that on discogs um from a flipper <laughs> but normally you know i'm pretty good you wait a couple days on discogs wait two or three days uh, to do your record store day shopping online because the prices do always drop Flippers uh, go crazy on that first on Record Store Day, but I should be able to pick up a copy of the, the Hammer Smith album uh, uh, on Discogs. And the second thing that I wanted was a Golden Earring Live album that's never been on vinyl before, never been on CD before. It originally was taken from a video that was released on VHS and Laserdisc, uh, a Golden Earring Live concert. And that was also I knew was going to be released in Europe only. So I'm going to have to look that one up on Discogs as well and pick it up because the people know. Then Lizzy Golden Earring, two of my top five bands of all time. So let's get on. I, I spent my budget. I actually went uh, $20. I, I just checked. I actually went $20 over budget. So I did pretty darn good this year. And considering there's only one record third day drop, uh, I didn't mind buying 10 pieces. There were four that I absolutely wanted and two maybes. And then I picked up another four uh, as well. Which I always do record store day. So let's get on with it. Let's not waste any more time. So first thing I picked up, number one one on my list. Cure Show. That's right. Cure Show, of course, picture disc. And the Cure picture discs sound just fine. I say this every year for those people that bitch and moan about picture discs. The Cure picture discs sound just fine. This is their live album from 1993. Uh, show. Finally, nice to have a live, live Cure on vinyl. And this was my number one want. I'm happy to get it. And this has this has like such such great classics on here, on here like Lullaby, Pictures of You, High, Open, Just Like Heaven, Fascination Street, on a, a night like this. Th this is just a killer live performance. Uh, the Walk, uh, Friday, I'm in Love. Uh, just just, and I'm going to be seeing The Cure, of course, in June here in in Toronto. So really thrilled to get that. That was my number one want. The Cure, and Show. And that's the picture disc vinyl. Uh, album number two that I picked up was uh, these. I'm showing you my first. My my first four are, are the ones, the things I really wanted. The second one that I really wanted. I'm of course a big Duran Duran guy. Go after the Duran Duran pressings every year. This is Duran Duran Rio Carnival, uh, brand new collection of original Rio remixes, celebrating 40 years of the classic album. Limits it to 10,000 copies. I believe this is on black wax. And these are all the 12, these are 12 inch single remixes, etc., of Rio Carnival, like the Rio Night version, uh, My Own Way uh, Carnival remix. These are all remixes. Thrilled to have this. Uh, absolutely thrilled. And this was a, my number two most wanted of this year's Reckon Story Day, and happy to have it. And I believe this is just, I believe it's on a black wax, but because it doesn't say anything, I, I'll find out when I open it up, but I'm pretty sure it's just on a black wax. Album number three, the third most wanted thing on my record store day list this year. And I, I, I got a lot of 80s stuff this year, <laughs> this year at record store. I did uh, somebody else pointed out uh, that my record store day this year was a lot of 80s stuff. <laughs> Apparently, I, other than two things. Um, so, yeah, my third. Well, you know, the Cure, the Cure is 93. So, you know, the Cure was 93. Duran Duran is 80s. And this one's 80s. And this is 
a flock of seagulls, rare birds. That's right, a flock of seagulls, rare birds. This was my third most wanted. Uh, I love a flock of seagulls. I have actually a pretty big flock of seagulls collection. Though they didn't make that many studio albums, they've continued to make albums to this day, and they've got their orchestral ones and their remix albums, all sorts of albums. Um, and I love collecting a flock of seagulls. Love these guys. And I'm excited to hear this because this is all uh, includes edits and alternate mixes. And a lot of these, uh, you know, it's not me talking, I see is on here. Modern Love is Automatic, Single Edit, I Ran, Single Edit, Space Age Love Song, Single Edit. There's a few, uh, it's not me talking's on here. So, and it's got the I Ran 12 inch mix. So I'm thrilled to have that. Rare Birds, Flock of Seagulls, number three most wanted. And this is, I believe, on a, on a colored vinyl. It just says exclusive transparent vinyl. So I guess I'll find out what color it is when I open it. Maybe I'm suspiciously wondering if it's on like a pinky colored vinyl just because I see this theme going on here. So I, I, if they did their color coordination right, it'll probably be on, a, on that colored vinyl. And number four most wanted album for this record store day, everybody knows, Love My Ramones. And of course, Pleasant Dreams, the alternate, the alternate mixes. Pleasant Dreams, the alternate mixes. I'm sure this is, I'm pretty sure this is on a black wax. And it has one of the alternate album covers that that was going to be used when they made Pleasant Dreams. This was one of the one of the album covers. So Pleasant Dreams, the New York mixes, Rough and Almost Ready Ramones, unreleased works in progress from the Ramones' sixth album with original alternate cover art. So this was the original cover art, I guess, before they chose what they chose for Pleasant Dreams. But thrilled to have this, absolutely, in my Ramones collection. And that was album number four. Those are the four that I wanted the most, other than the Thin Lizzy and the Golden Earring. Those were the four most wanted albums this year. And now, the extras. And the first extra, I said, if I saw a copy, uh, if I managed, if there was still a copy there when I went, if I saw a copy, I would grab it. And we're talking about Taylor Swift, Folklore, The Long Pond Sessions, why not? I figured, what the hell? You know, I'll give it a spin, and you know, my, I know I'm sure my daughter will want to spin this as well, because she's a... a uh, Taylor, she's not a Swifty, but she is a Taylor Swift fan, and I'm a I'm a Taylor Swift fan too. People know that. I've got most of Taylor Swift's library on vinyl, so you know, happy to get this. It wasn't a must-have on my list. It was just like if I saw a copy, I'd grab it. Of course, these these are gonna go for stupid money now, and even though there's a hundred thousand of them, they'll still go for stupid money. Um, there were ten people in the lineup at Rick's that wanted that, that wanted the Taylor Swift. And when I went to PCB, they got a hundred copies, and seventy-five of them were already gone when I got there. So I grabbed a, you know, I grabbed a copy. What the heck? And apparently, this is one of two different versions. There were, t there's apparently two different versions of this. Uh, this is actually the, what what people are saying is the better version. Uh, it has a really nice cover. It has the glued-on picture. Reminds me of Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young's Deja Vu with the le the textured cover and the mounted picture. And it's got this Disney Plus hype sticker, and apparently the version without the Disney Plus hype sticker is a Mexico pressing, and it's 20 grams lighter. This is the heavier pressing. This is apparently this this pressing is 20 grams heavier than the other pressing. Uh, so thrilled to have the better pressing, and and I gotta admit it's beautifully embossed. The writing's embossed and whatnot. I think it's just um oh it's on a gray vinyl as well. So you know why not Taylor Swift folklore sessions? Why not folklore folklore the Long Pond sessions? Why not? It was the big, big record of the record store day this year. So, you know, I saw it. I said, well, what the heck? I want to grab a copy of it. It was a maybe, you know, that I'd said, you know, if I saw it, I'd buy it. Uh, next up, uh, this one uh, I'd seen in the list and I was ho-humming and I said, well, I'll wait till I actually physically see it in the store before I decide. And after having a look at it, uh, I decided to go for it. Uh, this is album number six I bought at record store day. And this is Yes! Live at the Knoxville Civic Auditorium, November 15th, 1972. Classic live performance from the Close to the Edge Tour. Anderson, Howe, Squire, Wakeman, and White. You know, I saw the lineup. I saw the track listing. It's a it's a three LP set uh, from probably the best years of Yes. One of the, you know, one of the, I, I like the 80s stuff too, but uh, certainly this this period of Yes is classic, classic, classic. And it's from the, from the Close to the Edge Tour, so why not? 3LP, I believe it's on black vinyl. Uh, it doesn't say otherwise. And so I grabbed a copy of that. That was, a, that was a, like I said, a maybe that I decided when I saw it whether I would get it. And I grabbed it. So album number six. 
Uh, album number seven, that I, and that's everything I picked up from Rick's Recollections. Those six I bought from my friend Rick over at Rick's Recollections. And the remaining four I picked up from PCV. I didn't go to High Notes, which used to be the Art Stop Cafe vinyl, but they, they, they've changed their name as, as the owner sold it to a, young, a couple of young fellows that are very nice guys. Uh, but there was no need for me to go to High Notes because I pretty much got everything I wanted and more. Uh, so album number seven... I did not realize, uh, you know, you, sometimes when you peruse the record store day list, um, things don't jump out at you. And I saw this on the list, but I thought it was just the Red Noise studio album being repressed for record store day. And that's why I didn't give it a, a second thought. But then when I saw it in the store, I was like, well, and they only got one copy. Uh, Rick never got any copies. The other store got one copy. So I'm glad to, to snag it. And it is Bill Nelson's Red Noise live uh, De Montfort Hall, Le Leicester, uh, 1979, an exclusive Record Store Day release of a complete concert from the 1979 tour by Bill Nelson's Red Noise, mixed from the original analog master tapes by Stephen W. Taylor, cut at Abbey Road Studios. It's on a 10-inch. It's a double live performance of Bill Nelson's Red Noise. When I saw this and realized what it was, that it was a live I jumped on this and so, so thrilled to get this. This is my surprise of Record Store Day. I didn't realize this was what it was. I thought it was just a reissue of the of the Bill Nelson's Red Noise studio album. And of course, the people that don't know who Bill Nelson was, he was the front man and guitarist for Bebop Deluxe, one of my top 10 favorite bands of all time. And I have the studio album of this. So thrilled, thrilled. This is the, the surprise of the day. I am so thrilled to get this. I'm really, really looking forward to spinning Bill Nelson's Red Noise live. Uh, I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to find this today. The surprise, big, thrilling find of the day. <laughs> I get so excited. <laughs> uh, so album number seven. Album number eight, I knew that I saw this on the list and I just... I immediately thought it was just another another Madonna remix. I mean, I pick up the I've picked up the odd Madonna uh, remix album uh, on Record Store Day in the past. I have a few of the Record Store Day Madonna releases. This one really didn't jump out at me when I saw it on the list, but when I looked at it in the store and saw what was on it, I was like, I had to buy it. And I'm talking about uh, Record Store Day exclusive Madonna uh, American Life Mix Show Mix, honoring Pete. Uh, Rochefer, 20th anniversary EP honoring Pete Rauhofer, Ro uh, features six unreleased edits. Uh, so when I saw it, I had to go for it, and you'll see why in a second. Um, actually excited. I think this is just on a black wax as well, just like the Bill Nelson, I believe, is on a black wax. We'll find out when I open them. Uh, but I actually went, decided to go for this. It's got uh, eight songs on it. Uh, American Life, Hollywood, Love Hollywood. And they're all the, this is actually all the trance and techno mixes of these songs. So that was one of the reasons I jumped on this. When I realized it was trance and techno mixes uh, from that period, I jumped on it. American Life, Hollywood, Love for Fusion, love all those songs. Uh, Nobody Knows Me, Nothing Fails, Mother and Father, Easy Ride. But the one that, that definitely sold it for me was the theme to the James Bond film, Die Another Day. And it is the Thunder Puss Club edit. I love Thunder Puss remixes. As soon as I saw that it had the Die Another Day Thunder Puss. You guys know me and my James Bond. I got to have anything that is James Bond. So that was the number one. That was the clincher that made me buy this. The Thunder Puss uh, remix of Die Another Day. The trance remix. So thrilled to have that. Because I don't have that, that mix on anything. So thrilled to get that album number eight. Madonna, American Life. Mix show mix. And the last two were blind by whatever you want to say, totally unplanned. I knew about the, like I said, I knew about the Bill Nelson, not realizing what it really was. And I knew about the Madonna, um, not realizing what was on it. The last two were total blind buys on name alone that I just spur of the moment got it last, last second. Uh, the first is from Roy Ayers and I like Roy Ayers. Uh, I, I, he's a vibraphonist, of course. And I love Roy Ayers. I, I, got, I got introduced by, to Roy Ayers a few years ago on Record Store Day when I, when I blind bought uh, a Record Store Day Roy Ayers album um, four or five years ago. Um, it was a Roy Ayers EP and then somebody in the store said, Anthony, you should get that. You're going to like it. And I got it and I loved it. And I have since bought a number of Roy, Roy Ayers albums, including the last 
uh, Roy Ayers' uh, record story today uh, title that came out last year. So when I saw this one, I said, you know what, I love the Roy Ayers, uh, and I went for this one, and it's called Roy Ayers' Stoned Sold Picnic. Uh, just the name <laughs> alone. It definitely interested me. Stoned Soul Picnic by Roy Ayers. I'm, I'm excited to hear this, and, and it's got a lot of guest stars on here. Hubert Laws, Herbie Hancock, Charles Tolliver, um, Ron Carter, Gary Bartz, uh, and it's on a psychedelic splatter vinyl. Uh, so I'm excited to spin this. It sounds like it's going to be a funky good time. Uh, so this was a total blind buy, spur of the moment purchase, but I I bought it on the strength of pre excuse me bought it on the strength of previous Roy Ayer albums I I picked up. And last but not least from this year's Record Store Day, um, I knew this was on the list. Um, but I kind of forgot about, completely kind of forgot about it after seeing it on the list. It, but when I saw the cover, it just brought back memories from the 80s for me. It brought back memories, late 70s, 80s, uh, of these guys. I, I totally forgot about these guys. But as soon as I saw the uh, the cover, I said, yeah, I'm going to grab this. And we're talking, of course, Billy Idol, before he was Billy Idol, before he was on his own. Billy Idol's band, Generation X, the debut album from Generation X. This is an exclusive heavyweight yellow vinyl. Includes Ready, Steady, Go, Generation X. This was a not so much a blind buy, but a but a spur of the moment buy. Like I said, as soon as I saw this, it brought back memories uh, from from back in the day with Gen X. I'd forgot. Gen X is just one of those bands I kind of forgot about, um, probably because I was stoned most of the time. I listened to them back in the eighties and seventies. <laughs> and all right, so that was my last thing I picked up, Generation X. Uh, featuring Billy Idol. Uh, so excited, excited, excited to uh, hear this. And it's got, a, it's even got, this is actually an Obi strip that's going around it. This is actually an Obi strip. And those are my Record Store Day 2023 pickups. In the comments below, guys, why don't you let me know what you picked. If you went to Record Store Day, I'd love to hear what you guys picked up on Record Store Day. Let me know, and I'll see you very, very soon. I've already got my next video filmed. I'll see you in that video very, very soon. And happy Record Store Day 2023, everybody. Rock and roll.